Hello, Hello everyone. A very, very good, good afternoon, afternoon and, and welcome, welcome to, to my course, course Basic Physics. This course is generally made for diploma degree students of first year, first, first semester. Myself, uh, Gopal Chakraborty, Assistant Professor, Department of Physics, Greater Kolkata. College of Engineering and Management, Barayhu. So you can personally meet me at College Premises Ground Floor Physics Lab. You can also send me a mail regarding your query and doubt on this topic that I have discussed. So in my given mail address, that is G O D Physics. Six at the rate gmail.com or gopal dot chakravarti underscore g k c e m at the rate g i s group dot o r g students i have a youtube channel uh, the link is given here you can subscribe my youtube channel for a more similar videos on this subject basic physics if you uh, gone through this video you will understand the subject and uh, if you feel any doubt feel free to contact me at my given mail address Now uh, the course pages are www.website.org and www.website.co.in. So uh, these are the state council website. So the syllabus is already uploaded there. If you want, you can download the syllabus for first year, first semester for all department from this university website. So the title of the subject that is basic physics, it is under the category of basic science course. It has a credit three and two lecture per week and two practical per week. So uh, that the course is generally made for diploma degree students of first year, first semester. So uh, all department, all the branches except architecture, photography, multimedia and printing technology. Apart from these four departments, each and every department have to study this basic physics in their first year, first semester. So as per our college, we have only electrical and electronics and communication department. So these two department students have to study this subject basic physics as a part of their curriculum of first year, first semester. Now, uh, the topic that I will be going to discuss in today's class are Modulus of Elasticity, Different Types of Modulus of Elasticity, Young's Modulus, and Determination of Young's Modulus of the Material of the String, and Simple Numerical Problems. So, uh, these topics are also under Unit 2, that is General Properties of Matter. So, prerequisite for these topics are basic mathematical knowledge to solve problems, uh, knowledge of basic concepts science such as physics, and visualization and analytical approach towards this subject is very much necessary. So, uh, what are the course objectives? The course objectives are uh, analyze the elasticity modulus of material and corresponding stress and strain. Uh, select proper material for intent purpose by studying young modulus of the material. So after completion of this topic, students will able to analyze the elasticity modulus of the material 
and corresponding stress and strain they will also able to calculate stress strain and young's modulus for a given material so uh, these are considered to be as possible course outcome So uh, before I uh, start with uh, today's topic, I would like to remind you what we have done in our last class. That is the first class of on the chapter elasticity. So uh, in that class, I have discussed about the property elasticity, plasticity, and what are the deforming force or restraining force and stress, strain, etc. So, uh, in short, I will, uh, in a brief, I will tell you what is that elasticity property. It is uh, the property of the material by virtue of which it resists the change in size and shape by application of some deforming force. That means, uh, if you try to change uh, the shape and size of the body of the or the material by applying some external force or deforming force what will happen some internal force will comes into act which is called restoring force and due to uh, the presence of that force if you withdraw that deforming force the body tries to regain its original size and shape so that property is called elasticity and if you uh, apply a force, deforming force over the elastic limit of that body, so uh, we will get a permanent deformed body. So that means uh, by that property, plasticity, it is not possible for the body in that case to regain its original size and shape in a complete way. It may be partially deformed or it may be completely deformed. So these are the property elasticity and plasticity and so the stress and strain what is the stress and strain stress is the force per unit area force per unit area means that restoring force per unit area that comes into act only due to the change of uh, change in size and shape of the body okay and what is strain strain is the change with respect to the original one that means if it is a length so change in length with respect to original length if it is a volume so it is change in volume with respect to the original volume so uh, these are your stress and strain so i have also discussed the hooke's law which says that within elastic limit stress is proportional to strain from where we get the idea of elasticity modulus because stress is proportional to strain in terms of equality if you write that equation you need some proportionality constant so strain by stress by strain is equals to constant and that proportionality constant is termed as modulus of elasticity so uh, those who have missed that class the students please go through that class once again uh, so it will be very helpful for you to understand today's class because today's class is very much related with the first class that I have uploaded okay so uh, if you miss please go through once again so uh, now I will discuss in today's class what is modulus of elasticity and what is Young's modulus in detail step by step so uh, the first one modulus of elasticity so an elastic modulus also known as modulus of elasticity is a quantity that measure an object or substances resistance to bring deformed elastically uh, not permanently when a stress is applied to it so uh, the elastic modulus of an object is defined as the slope of stress and strain curve in the elastic deformation region so a stiffer material will have a higher elastic modulus so uh, when stress uh, is the force causing the deformation divided by the area 
to which the force is applied and strain is the ratio of change in some parameter caused uh, by the deformation to the original value of the same parameter. If stress is measured uh, in Pascal, uh, then since strain uh, is a dimensionless quantity, the unit of lambda will be Pascal as well. So here I have considered lambda is a, as a modulus of elasticity. So uh, elasticity modulus can be defined as stress by strain. So as stress is force per unit area, so A by A whole divided by strain, change in the parameter divided by the original parameter. So as is ratio, uh, as it, uh, strain is the ratio of the same same kinds of the parameter. So it has it is a unitless quantity. So it uh, the elasticity modulus will get the only the unit of the stress so it is similar to the stress that means either newton per meter square or uh, you can describe also it as a pascal now uh, there are different types of modulus of elasticity okay as per uh, the different properties change in different properties uh, physical properties of that body uh, the modulus of elasticity also can be defined in so many ways so here I have shown you a chart that shows you three types of modulus of elasticity is possible. First one is Young's modulus, second one is Bach modulus and the third one is rigidity modulus. So what is Young's modulus? Uh, if it is actually uh, related with the length, okay. So if the strain is uh, with respect to change in length with respect to the original length, so uh, by that way, stress by strain will give you the Young's modulus. Here also, uh, what is bulk modulus? If uh, the modulus of elasticity is related with the change in volume with respect to the original volume, if the strain is so. So uh, in that case, stress by strain, that will be called bulk modulus and uh, last one is rigidity modulus it is related to the uh, elasticity that of shape of the body so by that uh, physical property of the body body which quantity is uh, changing due to the application of that external deforming force uh, by that way you can define what is that uh, elasticity modulus it may be Young's modulus may be bulk modulus or it may be rigidity modulus so now I will explain uh, all of these three step by step now uh, the first one that is Young's modulus uh, as I have already told you that Young's modulus is deals with the change in size in shape uh, change in size or shape uh, with respect to the length so that means uh, as each and every elasticity modulus is the ratio of stress by strain so here the strain is changing length with respect to the original length so you can define the Young's modulus as the Young's modulus is a measure of the ability of a material to withstand changes in length when under length voice tension or compression. So uh, sometimes referred to as the modulus of elasticity. Young's modulus is equal to the longitudinal stress divided by the longitudinal strain within elastic limit. So uh, in a mathematical way you can define Young's modulus y equal to longitudinal stress by longitudinal strain. So y equals to a by a by del L by L where L is the actual length here I have shown you a diagram okay so the green complete green part that gives you the actual length that is capital L and if you pull the rod in a downward direction that means you stress it uh, and the change in length is del L okay so uh, the applied force is deformative force that is capital F so magnitude uh, which is same as 
is restoring force. So restoring force per unit area, so cross sectional area I have considered as a. a. So that restoring force F by A per unit area, this whole divided by del L by L, that will give you Y, that is your Young's modulus. So rearranging you will get Y equals to F by A into L by del L. So uh, this is your Young's modulus. So your Young's modulus also have the unit same as longitudinal stress. That means force per unit area. It is Newton per meter square or in terms of Pascal because del L has a change in length that has a unit either meter or centimeter in CGS unit and the lower denominator part L it has also a unit in SI meter or in CGS centimeter so as it is the ratio of same kind so it it doesn't have it has no unit so ultimately Young's modulus has a unit Pascal or Newton per meter square now uh, the experimental determination of Young's modulus of a material of a wear so how uh, you will determine it first I will describe the um, setup here a simple experimental arrangement used for the determination of Young's modulus of the material of a wear shown in the diagram it consists of two long straight wires of same length and equal radius suspended side by side from a fixed rigid support the wear capital A called reference wear carries a main milliampere scale and capital M and below it a heavy fixed load this load keeps the wear taut and free form so uh, the wear capital B called the experimental wear carries a vernier scale at its bottom the vernier scale can slide against the main scale attached to the reference wear a hanger is attached at the lower end of the vernier scale slotted half kg weight can be slipped into this hanger so uh, this is the diagram so before describing you just see the diagram it understanding the diagram is very much needed to uh, know the details of the experiment now uh, with the help of screw gauge the radius of the experimental wear is measured at several places let smaller be the initial average radius and capital L the initial length of the experimental wear a small initial load say 1 kg is put on the hanger this keeps the experimental wear straight and pink free uh, the vernier scale reading is noted a half kg weight is added to the hanger the wear is allowed to elongate for a minute the vernier scale reading is again noted the, so the difference between these two vernier reading gives the extension produced due to the extra weight added so uh, the weight is gradually increased in a few steps and every time we note the extension produced now uh, you have noted all the reading and data so a graph is then plotted between the load applied and the extension produced so it will be a straight line passing through the origin so uh, you just plot the graph load in x axis and extension in y axis so the uh, slope of the load extension line that will be tan theta equals to del L by mg so uh, stress is equal to mg by pi r square and the strain is equal to del L by L so uh, the Young's modulus of the material uh, by this experimental wear will be written as y equal to stress by strain so that's equal to mg by pi r square 
hole divided by del L by L or rearranging you can write mg by pi r square into L by del L that's equals to uh, capital L by pi r square tan theta where tan theta is the slope that is del L by mg so uh, by this expression you can easily find out the Young's modulus of a material of an unknown well Now, uh, another term that is so much related with this elasticity chapter, that is malleability. So, uh, when a solid is compressed, a stage is raised beyond which it cannot recover its original shape after the deforming force is removed. This is the elastic limit for compression the solid then behaves like a plastic body the yield point obtained under compression is called crushing point so after this stage metal are said to be malleable therefore they uh, can be hammered or rolled into a thin sheet for an example gold silver lead etc so uh, the graph is shown here uh, with respect to the compression uh, the applied force is along uh, y-axis so uh, firstly it show a straight line and after that elastic limit at point A so uh, it shows the plastic behavior and after the crushing point so the metals are now uh, are said to be malleable so this is the property that is called malleability Now, uh, on the basis of stress strain curve, you can be classified the material. So, uh, first one that is called ductile material. So, uh, the material which have a large plastic range of extension are called ductile materials. As shown in the stress strain curve uh, here, the, their fracture point is widely separated from the elastic limit. So such material undergo an irreversible increase in length before snapping. So uh, they can be drawn into a thin wares. For an example, say uh, copper, silver, iron, aluminium, etc. So these materials are example of ductile material. Here I have shown you a table uh, which consists of the data of uh, density, Young's modulus, uh, the ultimate strengths and yield strengths of uh, different substances that is aluminium, copper, iron, steel, glass, concrete, wood, bone, uh, etc. So uh, from here you can compare uh, these uh, different substances as per the uh, density as well as the Young's modulus or ultimate strength. Now, uh, as I have already told you how you will uh, define the Young's modulus, how you expressed it. Now I will show you some new numerical examples so that uh, it will be very easier for you how you will calculate the Young modulus or the force or the strain or the stress for a given material. Okay, so it will be very helpful for you and for your practice. So now I will show you the numerical. So uh, this is the first one. First says the length of a suspended wear increase by 10 to the power minus 4 of its original length when a stress of 10 to the power 7 newton per meter square is applied on it calculate the young's modulus of the material of the wear so uh, as you know young's modulus is longitudinal stress by longitudinal strain so first find out what is longitudinal strain so longitudinal stress mean that is change of length with respect to original length so that means del l by l so here that value is given 10 to the power minus 4 and the stress value is given 10 to the power 7 newton per meter square so you can substitute it directly in the formula of young's modulus 
that is longitudinal stress by strain so that is equals to 10 to the power 7 by 10 to the power minus 4 so ultimately it gives you the Young's modulus 10 to the power 11 Newton per meter square second problem uh, uniform wear of steel of length 2.5 meter and density 8 gram per centimeter cube weights 50 gram when uh, stretched by a force of 10 kg force the length increases by 2 millimeter calculate the Young's modulus of steel so uh, how you will solve this what is first uh, write down what's are the given quantity so the actual length that is 2.5 meter that means 250 centimeter the change in length del L that's 2 millimeter that means 0 0.2 centimeter the force applied that is 10 kg force as you know 1 kg force is equals to 9.8 newton so 10 kg force equals to 10 into 9.8 newton so uh, that's equals to 10 into 9.8 8 new 10 to the power 5 time so we convert all the unit in a CGS unit so uh, as you know mass equals to volume into density so uh, here uh, you can write the area that equals to mass by length into density because volume equals to area into length so area equals to mass 50 whole divided by length 250 into density 8 so it gives you 0 0.025 centimeter square so that is the cross-sectional area so now uh, Young's modulus put all the value in the formula that is a by a into del L by L so a by a uh, divided by del L by L so that gives you 10 into 9.8 into 10 to the power 5 into 250 that whole divided by 0 0.025 into 0 0.2 so you get the Young's modulus is 4.9 into 10 to the power 11 dime per centimeter square next problem that is uh, a structural steel rod has radius of 10 millimeter and a length of 1 meter a uh, 100 kilo newton force uh, if stresses it along its length calculate the stress elongation and the strain on the rod given that the Young's modulus y of the structural steel is 2 into 10 to the power 11 newton per meter square so uh, what is given r that is 10 millimeter that means 0 0.01 meter length is 1 meter force is 100 kilo newton that means 10 to the power 5 newton and Young's modulus is 2 into 10 to the power 11 newton per meter square so as you know stress is force by area that means a by area that means pi r square so substitute that value 10 to the power 5 pi means 22 by 7 and r that is 0 0.01 whole square so gives you stress is 3.18 10 to the power 8 newton per meter square and Young's modulus as you know y equals to a by a into l by del l so elongation is your del l that is change in length so del l equals to a by a into l by y Young's modulus so that's equals to 3.18 into 10 to the power 8 into 1 whole divided by 2 into 10 to the power 11 so ultimately gives you the elongation or change in length that's equals to 1.59 millimeter or 1.59 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter and what is strain that is change in length with respect to original length so uh, 1.59 into 10 to the power minus 3 whole divided by 1 so that's equals to 1.59 into 10 to the power minus 3 so in percentage that is equals to 0.16 percent so here also this is the same type of uh, numerical a mass of 100 gram is attached to the end of the rubber string 49 centimeter long and having an area of cross section 20 millimeter square the string is whirled round the horizontally at the constant speed of 40 rps in a circle of radius 51 centimeter find out the Young's modulus of the rubber so if you if uh, as you know uh, f equals to mr omega square uh, as per the centimeter force so mr omega is 2 pi new whole square so if you substitute that value you can find out what is force that is 100 into 51 into 2 into pi 
40 this whole square so that's amount of dyne and that given value of length is 49 centimeter change in length is so 51 minus 49 that is 2 centimeter and area of cross section that is 20 millimeter square uh, that means 20 into 24 minus 2 centimeter square so if you substitute all the value you will get the Young's modulus that is 3.95 10 to 10 to the power 9 newton per meter square Next problem, a uniform heavy rod of weight W cross-sectional area A and length L uh, is hanging from a fixed support, Young's modulus of the material of the rod is Y, uh, neglecting the lateral construction, find out the elongation produced in the rod. So uh, what is the weight, that weight of the uh, F uh, equals to weight of the length that is L minus X of the rod as per diagram. So that can be written as uh, W by L into L minus X. So elongation on the element that's equals to original length into stress by Young's modulus. So that is equals to dx, the change in length, original length into a by a by y. So that equals to w by l into a y whole into l minus x into dx. Now the uh, total elongation produced in the rod, uh, if you uh, take able to take the integration with limit from 0 to l, that gives you the value w l by 2 a y so uh, this is your required answer so uh, these are the possible books uh, you can refer now the uh, elongation uh, the evaluation process is same that uh, you have to appear for a 70 marks end semester exam and 20 marks mid semester exam and 10 marks for attendance assignment or interaction Hope all of you have understand today's class and enjoyed also. In next class, I will discuss the bulk modulus, shear modulus and the, about the Poisson's ratio. That will be the last part of this chapter, elasticity. So, thank you.